want to bring in Major Mohammad Ayush into the conversation as well. Major Shah, you've heard what <clears throat> the two voices from Manipur have also had to say on the matter. Um, Professor Swan as well as uh, Dr. Uh, Rajesh. I want to understand from your perspective when they say that the security advisor in the chief minister's office is releasing a report that clearly states 900 kooky militants have infiltrated uh, from Myanmar into Manipur and then retracts that a few uh, the office retracts that a few days later does that once again create a wedge in an effort to actually speak to both the communities and build trust amongst them right Devika, that's a very very good question yes it does uh, bring in a wedge and uh, distrust among the communities unfortunately and sadly because it is okay when the input is coming in you are doing your job you are only taking precautions you are just advising people that this is the information you've received you've got to be careful and this is what's going to happen and the report was 900 cookie militants are waiting to cross over from Myanmar they would be operating in small groups of 30 30 of them and they would strike attacks in Maite villages around 28th of September was the input that had come in now it's I believe it's been retracted now rather had you just given the input there was a lot of uh, bad blood caught uh, caused within the Maite community in, in, in the Koki tribe in fact about this so rather had one just done the damage and kept quiet about it now it's been done it's in the report it's it's that's a different story but now when you are retracting that statement and saying that there is nothing to substantiate it as then go in go in the way he said when there's an intelligent report coming in first they should be should substantiate it Secondly, okay, agree. It is all good intentions. You do it. You uh, uh, have good intentions. You are very well meaning. I would, uh, but then at the same time, it is uh, slightly embarrassing when you retract, when you have to go back on your word. When you have given a word, for example, I'm giving you. Then Govindavidi said that, you know, when you give out an input, there has to be a substantive method. In the press conference, Mr. Kuldeep Singh said that this is the report has to be considered to. Wrong, and they I mean, they haven't been able to get any proof on that as of now. So I think that's my personal take. His intentions may have, might have been good. People are misunderstanding his intentions that you know is to malign a particular community and this and that. Let us take a step back, sit back, take a deep breath, and like mature individuals and analyze this: how and what had happened. So maybe his intentions were good. Maybe he did not want that to happen in a, there is some error with your uh, speaking anyhow. Maybe they, he didn't want that to happen between the community. He didn't want tensions to go in there. But at the same time, I would say that, you know, it is important to understand that no one, people have to take back. It's not, I don't think it was intention to malign the cookies. The cookies are wonderful people. Everyone knows that. The Maitre are also wonderful people. Everyone knows that. Two communities who have been living like brothers, never fought, never had a history of fights in the past, and now suddenly they are sworn and bitter enemies of each other. I have been trying to make my efforts to uh, get the communities to talk. I have had the honor of interviewing both the gentlemen over here. In fact, uh, uh, Dr. Rajesh, Sonam Rajesh, and Dr. Swan. In fact, I, I, I have been speaking to them. I have been speaking to General Goen Devi on the phone over, the, over there as well. And so I have also been awarded the Director General of uh, Rajesh's competition card. There is a lot of pride on my on my chest. Now the very fact is, when, see I'll give you one example, we are, what you are showing on your screen about the temple attack, which happened at 2 a.m. at night in the midst of darkness. This gentleman who comes in, the CCTV camera caught him, he looks at no one's around, takes me hides hide behind a pillar, runs away, scoots off. It's but obvious, it's someone's malicious design to make the communities fight. In effect, the Maitis are saying the cookies have done it, the cookies are saying the Maitis have done it. Whoever has done it, one thing is very clear, that person has got ill intentions. The intention behind attacking a temple is very simple, to invoke passions among people. Obviously, nobody will like it. A place of religion, a place of worship is sacred and it's very, very personal. It should be left alone. The burning of temples, the burning of churches, not acceptable. The destruction of any place of worship, not acceptable. 
it will flare up passion and un- 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 unnecessarily. So people are someone is there is someone that needs to be investigated, uh, caught and brought to the book. Who is that someone who is trying to make okay. the 